Have you ever wondered about the fascinating journey of a butterfly or a moth? Today, we dive into the world of the monarch butterfly, a vibrant creature with an intriguing life cycle. The monarch butterfly, scientifically known as Danus plexippus, is a fascinating member of the class Insecta, specifically the order Lepidoptera. This captivating creature is native to North and Central America, where it thrives in open fields and meadows, decorating the landscape with its striking orange and black wings. The life cycle of a monarch butterfly is a magnificent spectacle which unfolds in four distinct stages. The journey begins with a tiny egg, meticulously laid by the female on a milkweed plant. This plant serves as both a nursery and a food source for the next stage of development, the caterpillar or larva stage. The caterpillar spends most of its time eating, growing rapidly, and shedding its skin, a process known as molting. As the caterpillar prepares to enter the next phase of its life it forms a protective casing around itself, known as a chrysalis. Inside this chrysalis, the caterpillar undergoes a miraculous transformation, a process known as metamorphosis. Over about two weeks the caterpillar morphs into an adult butterfly, emerging with delicate vibrant wings, ready to start the cycle anew. But the journey doesn't stop there. Monarch butterflies are known for their extraordinary migration patterns. Every fall, millions of monarchs embark on a remarkable journey, traveling up to 3,000 miles from Canada and the United States to warmer climates in Mexico. This mass migration is a breathtaking spectacle, as the sky fills with a flurry of orange and black. The monarch butterfly's life cycle and migration patterns are truly a testament to nature's wonder. Now let's explore the reason behind their vibrant coloration. Ever notice the bright orange and black patterns on a monarch butterfly? This isn't just for aesthetics. This striking coloration serves as a warning signal to predators. It's a bold statement in the insect world saying, back off, I'm toxic. You see, the monarch butterfly has a rather interesting diet during its larval stage. It feeds almost exclusively on milkweed, a plant that contains toxic compounds. These toxins accumulate in the larvae and remain in the butterfly as it matures, making it a distasteful, even deadly meal for predators. A predator that ignores the monarch's warning colors and decides to take a bite, will quickly learn to associate the unpleasant experience with the butterfly's vibrant coloration. This learnt aversion provides a powerful shield for the monarch, reducing the likelihood of future attacks. But the monarch butterfly's strategy doesn't stop at its own protection. Amazingly, its unique coloration has influenced other species of butterflies to develop similar patterns, a phenomenon known as Batesian mimicry. In this way, non-toxic species gain protection by resembling the toxic monarch, further testament to the power of adaptation and survival in the natural world. So the next time you spot a monarch butterfly, remember that its vibrant colors are not just beautiful, but also a clever adaptation for survival. Next, we unravel the transformative process of metamorphosis. The transformation from a crawling caterpillar to a graceful butterfly is nothing short of magical. Let's understand this process of metamorphosis. Metamorphosis in the realm of Lepidoptera is a four-stage dance of transformation. It begins with the egg stage, where a female butterfly or moth lays eggs on a host plant suitable for the larva's diet. The larva, or caterpillar, that emerges is a voracious eater, consuming its eggshell first before feasting on the plant. It grows rapidly, shedding its skin multiple times to accommodate its expanding body. Then comes the pupa stage, where the magic truly happens. The caterpillar forms a chrysalis, or a cocoon, a protective shell within which it undergoes drastic changes. The cells of the caterpillar rearrange themselves, forming a completely new organism, the butterfly or moth. Now you might wonder, how does this process differ between butterflies and moths? Well, one of the key differences lies in the pupa stage. Butterflies form a chrysalis which is smooth and often brightly colored, hanging it openly on plants. Moths, on the other hand, spin a cocoon using silk, which is often hidden away in the ground or in leaf litter. Finally, the adult butterfly or moth emerges, a creature of sublime beauty, ready to start the cycle anew. The metamorphosis of a butterfly or moth is a remarkable phenomenon, showcasing the intricate workings of Mother Nature. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of the monarch butterfly.